All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. The Jody there. What's that, Jody? A uh, happy, spiteful, mean Nick Bear. <laughs> happy and mean, the same sentence? Mm -hmm. Describe one person? Who's your spiteful? How? Spiteful of what? Oh my. I'm more spitful, actually, when I talk. Mm. We are checking out David Mitchell's soapbox today. Emotional intelligence quiz. <laughs> and we are so excited to check this out. If you like our reaction to this anyway, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of the next uploaded video. Are you trying to say that I'm not emotionally intelligent? I smile and you hear words. It's amazing. Because I know you and I know what you're thinking. How do you know what I'm thinking? Most of the time it's tacos. It's been 17 years of marriage. Man, aren't you so lucky. All the people watching right now are like, gosh, she's the lucky one. I'm looking for a job up in Scotland if you guys know about one. <laughs> people will take you up for that. Here's my address, Jody. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Not a roommate. You need somewhere to live? No offense. You need to live out in the country? No, I'm going to move the whole kit family out there. Oh. <laughs> this day's getting even better. Here we go. Well, it's that point in the series where I look around me, note that my CGI surroundings are quiz show-ish, and obligingly provide a quiz to go in them. If you are a long-term... Um, what are you called? Viewers? Watchers? Sufferers? Anyway, if you're a long-term victim of these things, you'll know that I strive to find ways of constructing a quiz that cannot be answered just by looking the questions up on Google. And this time round, I think I've hit on a method which also solves another problem with quiz shows and pub quizzes, that they reward the possession of useless knowledge about the length of rivers or succession of kings, and not the stuff we actually should know. Accordingly, I present an emotional intelligence quiz. I imagine you've already spotted the floor, but don't worry, obviously I will not be judging this one myself. I mean, for God's sake, that wouldn't be so much the blind leading the blind as the blind blinding the sighted. No, the competition will be judged <laughs> by an expert in emotional intelligence, by which I obviously mean a woman. Probably Ellie in the office, but we haven't asked her yet. Question one. What do you do when you're briefly left alone with an acquaintance and they start crying? Brackets, not because of something you've done, close brackets. A. Immediately hug them. B. Pretend it's not happening and quietly leave. It's got to be this one, surely. Please let Absolutely. it be this one. C. Ask them what's wrong whilst desperately hoping they won't tell you. D. Put them at their ease by bursting into tears yourself. Question two. I'd be an A. You're going to a birthday drinks as a... Okay, so this is the problem with A. If every... Not that it happens all the time, but if every girl I see is crying i just walk up to her and just hug her she's gonna be like oh get off of me no but i could hug her okay well, he's so this is only for women no which exactly. is how i would answer so then it can't be one correct answer so how can this be a true quiz i like quietly leave like homer simpson slowly going backwards towards the, the bushes edges. i like d though too <laughs> <laughs> let me join you okay go ahead it's like the worst answer pub it's for someone you used to work with, but don't work with anymore, but still keep in sporadic touch with, but would never meet one-on-one. -on -one. You have their personal email, but not their phone number. That sort of friend. Okay, what do you take? A. A card and present. B. A card but no present. C. Oh, a. a present but no card, because you're mad. <laughs> D. Nothing. It's drinks in a pub. You don't have to buy stuff to go to the pub. A. Question B or three. D. What do you do if someone smells? No, not what are you supposed to do, what do you actually do? It's a good friend, I but not a best question. friend. He has better friends who see him more often and should be telling him stuff like this. A. <laughs> tell him in some unimaginable way. No. B. Tell his friends to tell him, no. risking, of course, that they tell him you told them to tell him. His friends are dicks. C. Don't kids. tell him, but as punishment for your cowardice, keep seeing him. No. D. You offer him don't like... tell him, and contrive only ever to meet him in wide open spaces or when you're suffering from a heavy cold. 
No, you Question. are first place. <laughs> Friend gold. has been declared <laughs> bankrupt. A heavy coat. I love it. You can't smell. I know. I wouldn't pick Indos. I would say, hey, here, try this mints. I really like them. And ooh, smell this spray. It smells so good. You think so he's good. that dumb? Honestly, the answer is either A or D. Either if you can't stand it, but you still want to hang out with the person, like, dude, I'm sorry, but you've been stinking recently. Now, you say it a nicer way, but you just, just got to tell them. Like if, it's like when you have, like, a, a booger hanging down from your nose or, like, food Oh, I teeth. will tell people that. Mm -hmm. Like, really? You're not going to let me, like, you're telling me to be that guy? Yeah. But D, if you don't have the guts to tell him, then just don't ever hang out with the person because you don't want to smell that. No. No. What is the point of constantly just smelling it? No. I would never. And suffering. I would never. Sorry. Be like, dude, are you okay? Like, I just may never talk to them again. Did you then. break up with your girlfriend or something? Because you smell. <laughs> like, so bad. I'm just saying. I would just I mean, offer. and you can make it, like, kind of funny. But, like, no, I'm serious, though. You stink. No, I would buy them, like, perfume and stuff. That's even more insulting. The passive-aggressive approach? Dude, you smell. I would buy him a bath and, and body if he hates shit. you, you weren't that good friends anyways. Some soap, some lotion, some perfume. I'm telling you, people do not get the message, or they do, and they take offense to it. You know, and he knows you. Four, a friend has been declared bankrupt. Mm. You know, and he knows you know, but you haven't discussed it. When you go to the pub, how many times is it okay to let him buy the drinks? Never. A, not at all. The poor guy's bankrupt, Thank you heartless you. monster. Thank you. Yes, I agree. B, once, to show that everything's normal, but not again, because it's not. C, every other round as usual, because anything else would be patronising. D, every other round as usual, because that's the system, damn it. A. Question five. A woman you know has pointedly dressed up for an occasion. She looks fine. Oh, not no. great, not awful. All you can see is the effort. What do you say? The people. A, my God, you look amazing. Thank you, not A. Too much. B, my God, you look fine. Not great, but not awful. <laughs> nope. C, my God, that must have taken you ages. D, <laughs> right, should we go? <laughs> yes. That's yes. it. Yes. Best of D. luck. Send your entries to bye. I'm afraid there's no prize this time round, but we will give a present to the winner to say sorry for there not being a prize. But no card. <laughs> but no I was card. really hoping because I noticed like I a it. lot of similar answers for certain letters. Like it was a lot of A's. I was hoping they'd say A, it would be this. Yeah, if you chose A to every answer, you're this kind of a person. Yeah. You're direct, but you have no heart. No, A was the kind. And you no. Love. It a was... for the other question was, yeah, you tell them. Some imaginable way. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What was A on this last one? That you wouldn't let them pay. Oh, no, no. My gosh, you look amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You look amazing. So this is the thing. Like, I agree with you don't make them pay, but I'm not going to... I don't go to the pub, but if I did, I'm not going with you anymore. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I got this time, but why are you still going there if you yeah, have no money? It's true. Or you don't have enough money to spend because you lost your job and you got to the, pay for the rent or whatever. It's true. But... At the same time, like, if you're going to go, and we're agreeing to go together, again, I don't drink, but every other round. Oh, you can't handle yours? You shouldn't be at the pub then. And by the way, you stank. <laughs> I mean, you have more time in the day to shower. You should utilize that. <laughs> That's what he should have done at the very end, like, put it all together. You look amazing, oh but I'm not gosh. paying for your drinks anymore. Oh and gosh, gosh, you stink. Oh but you look great. Just smell. Listen, we're not perfect. But some of my students were telling me how they went to Bath and Body Works the other day and they put on some whatever one of the scents. I'm like, we smell like Mrs. Peterson because oh. I have apparently a signature scent. I was like, oh, okay. Bath and Body Works scent? It's the one I always use, yeah. Is there a Bath and Body Works like in the UK? I'm assuming they are, but is it like here it's like almost every shopping center right like like a mall or whatever it's a place with like soaps and lotions candles all Listen, the nice smelling they perfumes. have it there they don't have to be just explained but yes you probably have something else that's called something different the body shop maybe overpriced smelly stuff it smells so good though it does but their lotions don't they make you feel more dry oh really i don't they feel nice and moisturized 
Oh, there you go. I'm just a freak. Yeah, you are. Absolutely love these so much. He's the best. If you like our reaction to it anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe. we got several more on the channel if you do enjoy it. And until next time. Goodbye.